<laughs> Here they are. This is the arch bridge, a keystone arch bridge. So it's dry laid. It was built in 1840 by Major George Washington Whistler. He was the father of James McNeil Whistler, who, of course, painted Whistler's mother. Whistler brought in a stonemason from Stockbridge, Massachusetts, named Alexander Burney, and he built 10 of these bridges back in 1840. And about six of those still survive. And there's an arch bridge trail that goes five miles there and back. It's a beautiful walk along the Westfield River, which is a wild and scenic uh, river, designated river. If you ever get a chance and you're in Chester, Massachusetts, look up keystonearchbridgetrail.com or you can email me at art at michaelwolski.com and I can give you some details. It's a beautiful hike. Anyways, it gives me a lot of inspiration for my paintings and uh, just ideas in general. The reason I actually have brought you to the Keystone Arch Bridge and the Westfield River is that before I painted, I was a performer. And I wanted to share something with you for Colorscape this year that was, well, had some humor, some laughter, and I hope it will make you laugh. Um, I love doing him uh, for many, many years. Uh, enjoy and happy Colorscape. Oh, it's going to be a good day for fishing. Let me tell you that. Oh, oh, good morning. Well, there you caught me. Ha! Ah, look at that. I just came down all the way from Chester. What a paddle that is, hey? And it's upstream too. Oh my goodness. Woo, look at those beautiful arches. Aren't they beauties? Yeah, you have to be careful though when you're casting. You don't want to catch a train. Catching fish is okay, but I tell you, catch a train, you're in trouble. <laughs> all the way to Albany, just like that. Yeah, not to say I've done it, but I just can imagine. Woo! I got all my lines are out and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting and you know, there's a lot of waiting when you're fishing. So you know what I've done? I looked um, to my friends and my friends have a group called Need or Not. Indeed they do. And I just take a look at this. So every time I push my cast out there, I'm waiting. I got nothing to do, you know. So look, I took a look, I look at this beauty. Yeah, it's my knitting. I knitted a little pink salmon scarf. <laughs> well, it's not finished yet, but maybe by winter. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Oh boy, all my friends will want one, won't you think? Make nice gifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, that's what I do, and then, then while I'm waiting. And then you probably noticed under my boat, yeah, those down there, those beauties, those are, those are soul. Yeah, they follow me everywhere I go. Not usually having soul in the river, of course, but these are unusual times. Yeah, so there they are. Beautiful. The boat kind of attracts fish, you know. Yeah. My favorite fishing spot, and I just want to give you a few tips, you know, because fishermen love tips. So I'm going to show you. I just was uh, on the internet, uh, you know, shopping, because, well, you know, in this time that we're in, we have a lot of time at home. So I want to show you what I got first. Look at this. Now, I got this here for fly fishing because this is the spot for it, you know, and it was that's such a deal. Look at this. For fly fishing, I got this little beauty. Isn't that a nice one, eh? You haven't used it yet, but a good color for Chester, that orange, you know. <laughs> so try that. But look at this. That's not, they gave me that, and that was pretty pricey, but they threw this in. Look at this beauty. Oh, we're, just when I get tired, little hand-powered outboard motor. Look at that. You just put it in the water like that, right there, and you just spin her. Yeah. Also makes a really nice up cake. So, you know, you kind of win both ways. But, um, yeah. And you know the nice thing was they emailed me back and said, ah, that they saw me coming. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> nice people. 